Fifteen hours of driving for this idiot. Oh no, I didn't do it for him, I did it to stop him. Oh, here, here kids. Here kids, the least you can do is know what you know before you vote. Oh, he had, uh, hey, I ripped him had a little cocaine in love with Obama in 1999. Oh, okay. uh, there you go. You at least, grab those at least things, know right? before you vote. That's all I ask. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, we're looking good. Yeah, well, I just ripped these right off the stage. All right. Where? Right there. Right over there. The queen is in the house. Look at that. What do you think about that, huh, Larry?
you should at least be educated before you cast your vote. We must win Michigan. And we should not do it. We I do not do it without your help. So today's going to be great. Rock's going to be on stage soon. We're going to have a great time. We're going to have a wonderful time. But the important work that's going to get us Excuse to where me, we sir. need to be. I'm for the independent youth uh, service. And I'd uh, like to know... Um, how do you feel about being like the only person here that's against Obama? Well, it's not so much that I'm the only person against. Actually, you know, this gentleman's nice. He asked, you know, for the flyer to at least know what's going on. Uh huh. You've got young kids down there that are screaming all kinds of things, you know, talking about leave, kick them out. I thought the Obama campaign was all about free speech. Well, you haven't had any time yet, have you? Not yet. But, you know, these young kids are talking about kick them out. Okay. And, and isn't what, this the same uh, group that was screaming in uh, St. Paul about police brutality or something? Oh. Or kicking people well, out? on the paper there? Basically, it's about Barack Obama and me. Oh, two, right. and two nights, two drug encounters, two sexual encounters. Well, you're, this, you're this man right here? Get the register to yep. vote by this coming Monday. You, you had, uh, you did cocaine with Barack Obama. Actually, you did cocaine and, and had oral sex with him twice, November 6, November 7, 1999. Back to the five-star What is your name, sir? Larry Sinclair. 1999, November 6 and 7. Oh, my God. Um, now, did, did you just come up with this stuff? I mean, uh, how, long, how long have you been doing this? Actually, I called Barack Obama out on it last September privately through his campaign. And he simply ignored and started harassing over the internet. So I came public on January 18th. Since then, it's been about uh, harassing my family, my personal information, social security number, parents' names, social security number. Everything's been put out on the internet by these people. You know, Barack Obama has, all he has to do is answer the questions or respond. He's, his press office has been repeatedly faxed for comment, and they just simply ignore okay. people. So, so your thing is that he, he hasn't come out of the closet? That no, actually, my thing is, is he's not being honest with the American voter. If people want to vote for him, I've never told anyone who to vote for. You know, you can know everything there is to know and still choose to vote for the man if you want to. But the thing is, is you need to make this man tell you the truth about him rather than just keep preaching change. Change what? McDonald's said I get change back for a dollar. <laughs>